I also love this like a squishy sound. Hey guys, so today I have a very fun video, I think. So if you guys didn't know, Parasite is the phenomenon in Korea right now because it just won four Oscars and it's the first Korean, well it's the first foreign language film to ever win best film but it's obviously a really big deal here in Korea and so I wanted to kind of celebrate the triumph of the movie and sort of how excited everyone is here about it with a special video and I am recreating their dish that the the mommy in the movie and what is this dish is like really a culmination of Korea in my opinion because it definitely talks about like the rich and ver rich versus poor concept because we're using ramen noodles who which everyone eats of every class and hanu uh, beef which is a special Korean grade A beef type of situation but for the noodles they use two noodles they use noguri which is this one it has a cute little raccoon on it and it's actually a like a seafood based uh, noodle and the noodles to me are quite thick I actually really love eating this and then chapaketi chapaketi which is their version it's like a black bean soy sauce based uh, noodle and it's more associated with a Korean Chinese fusion type dish um, so this one and they actually mix the two together and then on top of that they put hanu beef and they use steak uh, sirloin and so I bought hanu it was on sale because <laughs> uh, hanu is actually quite expensive uh, but you, you can tell what hanu is the sign here so we're going to try out what the big fuss is about I'm excited this is going to be my dinner, so let's go. So we're going to add this in, and I'm not going to season it, actually, because the noodles are quite going to be quite salty. I'm just going to make sure this is all the way cooked. All right, we are almost done. So hanu is expensive because it comes from a small breed of cows indigenous to Korea. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. ASMR. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna start boiling the water. You need a thousand one hundred milliliters of water to boil So I took out all the contents within the bags and I brought them out So as you can see, this is the noguri noodles and these are the chapaketi noodles. They're pretty similar in terms of Width and texture from what I can tell but the chapaketi ones are definitely a little bit more yellow And these are the packets that came with it. So the noguri ones come with a vegetable mix a seasoning mix and a piece of kanbu, which is a piece of seaweed. And the japagetti ones also come with a vegetable mix, a seasoning mix, and some olive oil. So the instructions say to put the vegetable packets in with the noodles first. I'm gonna put in the kanbu with the vegetable seasoning because kanbu is technically a plant and we don't wanna waste food, so that's going in there. And then these ones will go in later, but at different ratios, so you'll need to stay tuned to see how much of each to put in because it's not 100%. Okay, so my water is boiling. I'm gonna start putting in all the seasoning packets. So here's the noguri vegetable mix. Do, do, do. I'm gonna throw in the kanbu, because I can. And I'm putting the chapagetti vegetable mix. Four minutes and 30 seconds. So as soon as the noodles hit, I'm gonna hit the start button. I'm gonna put in one. Oh, this is, I'm gonna need to like break this up. And two, because it doesn't fit. Four minutes and 30 seconds. So I broke them up. I'm gonna start like, I like to toss my noodles up in and out while they're cooking, because I feel like the air pulling them out of the water gives them a little bit of a chewier con consistency, which I really enjoy. All right, so we are going to drain this now. Make sure you keep some water in here. You can see it's a little bit frothy from all the vegetables. We're gonna drain this out. So next, we're going to put in all of the chapagetti mix. Chapagetti. The half of this red noguri. Just feel out half and see what feels right to you. And then we're gonna put in, the chapagetti also came with this olive oil, which we will put in as well. And this is what this is for. You're gonna throw this in here so it mixes nicely. I'm 
I'm not gonna add all of it. I'm gonna do it in intervals just to get it really nice and mixed in. Okay, now that that has all been nicely incorporated, we're gonna put the Hanu right on top. All right, look at it. Beautiful. Okay, I'm super excited. It's finished. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, well first I'm just gonna eat the beef because that's my favorite part. It's very good. <laughs> Tastes like beef. Mmm. I'm really curious about these noodles. I've never mixed seasonings and ramen. I know a lot of people do. And ramen is such a staple here in Korea. I mean, everyone eats it all the time. It's super popularized on TV and media and just in everyday life. So, let's see. Mm. It's very interesting when you hatch when you have each dish separately tasting them together in this way is really interesting i can definitely taste the black bean sauce more because you put in the whole packet but the the spiciness and kick from the noguri really stand out here as well okay now we're gonna eat them together uh, it's too long I also love this like a squishy sound. <laughs> ASMR. Okay. It's really good together. <laughs> um Right, if you can add more beef in here until so you can like get beef with every bite, it would be really good. I think because the um the beef has has really warm, like soft flavor and the chapaketti is quite punch like it like kicks you a little bit. Like there's not in like a spicy way, more just like a it's got a strong, distinct flavor. So I think when it comes when it matches with the beef, it becomes a nice balance. Huh. Oh. I'm gonna do this more often. This is very nice. I can see why she did this. I can see why even though she's she's bougie, she mixed in the ramen and because she's bougie, she mixed in the hanu because obviously hanu is great by itself and it's even better with these noodles, I think. Probably all the MSG, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to finish my dinner. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Do you want me to make stuff? Because I cook, so I could. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!